Hello, and welcome back to Cineverse. Marvel, 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 Marvel. We all love to watch this cinematic universe at some point in time. With a well thought out plan started from 2008, the MCU has evolved itself with a huge expansion in scale. And of course, in the number of characters too. But quantity doesn't come with quality. While there are a lot of characters that went under a great treatment with great development journey, there are also a good number of characters who are kind of meh. Anyone else? Especially as you may know by now from the title of the video. You smartass. The villains in the past. The old bad guys of the MCU. To be honest, it's kind of weird if you ask me. If these characters are dishes in a restaurant, not only do they lack of seasoning, they're also a little bit undercooked. I taste that one there, Dave. You think I'm joking? You f***ing dreamer. These characters are laughably bad, and I suppose that they were intended to be that way since it makes no sense in any other explanation. To know how bad they are, let's just look at some of them. Bird Lover. I mean, Whiplash. Ah, there it is. Our favorite J.K. Simmons movie of all time. Whiplash is a story about a dynamic, aggressive relationship between a drummer and his mentor. What? what what do you mean, wrong script? This is Whiplash! What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, I know. I know. Whiplash is not a Phase 2 villain. He came from Phase 1, I know. But this character is so badly written that he deserves his own place in this video. His real name is Ivan Vanko, son of Anton Vanko, which is the original Whiplash in the comics. Anton was a Russian physicist, Typical Russian versus America trope, who helped Howard Stark design the Ark Reactor, but was deported from the United States when Howard accused him of espionage. Anton fell into poverty and alcoholism, and also abused his son for many years due to his personal humiliation caused to him by Stark. That's the reason why Ivan grew up with the hatred for the name Stark within him. His origin story is very generic if you ask me. For a matter of fact, Ivan is more like a Russian counterpart of Tony Stark than being his own character. He's a tech genius, an alcoholic, and a freaking narcissist who never obeys to anyone but himself. The only difference that distinguishes him from Tony Stark that I can barely remember, since the movie is so forgettable, is that Ivan is an enthusiastic bird lover. Peck, his feelings for his bird was even better written than his hatred yes. for Tony Stark. Which is really funny and sad at the same time. Rating Iron Man vs. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Meh, Lakith. Malkith. Who? Yeah, I know. This is easily and unarguably the worst villain ever written, not only in the MCU, but also in the existence of writing. He was so boring that he single handedly killed off the movie himself. I mean, apart from the villains, Thor, the Dark World, do have some interesting premises and elements that can turn into an enormous scale epic movie. To be frank, I kind of prefer the second Thor movie than the two comedic circus so-called sequels if not for its villains. Hearing that, you may understand how bad Malkith was to the story. He has no character, no development, no feelings, expression, or desire. His sole existence was simply to find the Aether which was the Reality Stone, and use it to rule the Nine Realms. Why, you may ask? We don't f***ing know! The movie doesn't even explain his motivation behind his action. It's like Malkith woke up in bed one day and said to himself, Well, let's find the Aether and conquer the Nine Realms since I have absolutely nothing else to do. This is such a waste of a character that it made Thor The Dark World become the worst Marvel movie ever made. Well if you don't count Captain Not-So-Marvel. I don't have any jokes for Malkith, since he provided me literally nothing to joke about but his existence. He may be the worst character, but he's far from the most wasted character in the cinematic universe. Days of Ultron. Why? Just why? Why do you have to turn one of the most powerful and dangerous villains ever created in Marvel Comics into a freaking Pinocchio twisted parody. In the original comics, 
Age of Ultron is literally an age. An era where Ultron ruled the Earth after defeated the Earth's mightiest heroes. But in the movie, Ultron didn't even think about ruling anyone or anywhere. He simply wanted to blow up the planet right from the moment he was born. Like, what the fuck? Why call it Age of Ultron when Ultron didn't even want his own age? It's like you remove the motherfucker out of Samuel L. Jackson. I have had it with these snakes on this mother. You took away the part of his very soul. This just makes the movie seem lesser in scale than how it should have been. Not only that, this version of Ultron is also too poorly crafted to be called an actual threat to the Avengers. The worst he could do is taking away the use of the internet from our heroes. This made him look like a strict parent who punished his children by unplugging the internet cable for a night. It's just, I can't take him seriously like how I should have been. And this is such a shame since he's my third favorite comic book villain after the great Big Wheel and Condiment King. One drives around in an enormous wheel, and one shoots ketchup and mustard. Yeah, I know. Terrifying. 